All right, guys, welcome to video four in this quick tutorial. So you guys can see here that I have quickly modeled up that floor plan that we were playing with. If you guys want to have a look at that, have a look at a, this apartment here. Um, you guys can pause it on the screen if you want to have a look at it a little bit more. Now, I haven't modeled this up in its full extent. It's just enough to kind of give us a bit of an idea. If I go into view and click on hidden geometry, this isn't something I've shown you before, right? You'll notice here that I've got a series of hidden geometries, right? So if I select that by single clicking, right clicking and go unhide, you can see the floor plan that I kind of mold this off or, or based it upon. If I want to hide that again, I can just right click it and go hide, okay? And if it's coming up like that, it means you've got hidden geometry on and we can just turn that off, all right? And we can kind of see it here. All right, so quick introduction to materials and section planes, okay? So obviously we've got a floor plan here, okay? So the first thing we might wanna do is kind of uh, model it. So we can go into our materials here. Again, if this isn't up, you can come into window, default tray, and make sure materials is got a tick next to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this basic black and white kind of materials for the time being. All right, so if I come down into here, you can see here that I've used a group Right, and within that group, I've actually got a group for the window frame and a group here for the window um, glazing. Right, you can see there that they're not conforming to that stickiness that we were kind of talking about earlier. All right, and that makes it very easy for using materials. If I'm doing materials right, I'm just going to create a little rectangle over here or a rectangular crew cube. Um, if I'm using materials and I click on my material here and I go to paint it. Okay, notice how it just paints one side, all right? However, if it's in a group, I'm gonna triple click on this and make it a group, and I apply a material to that. Notice how it gets applied to all surfaces. So keep that in mind when you guys are doing up materials. Okay, delete that, coming back over to here. All right, double clicking into this, and you can see here my window frame and then my glazing. So I'm just gonna grab a gray color and there we go. So we got our window frame kind of sorted and let's do these ones quickly as well. All right, now you can see here that these lines, these are all different components that I've created. All right, and just like that, our materials have been applied to all three. All right, again, let's open that up. You've got our piece of glazing here. All right, and notice how we can move them all. All right, so in here, in our materials, we can go instead of colors, we can drop down to our glass and mirrors. And here we can go a glass reflection. All right, and double click on this one, select our glazing. And again, we get our little bit of glazing there as well. Now, say these here are timber, all right, we can come back in and you'll notice here that they're all in a group. If I double click on them, we've now got a component. And I know it's a component because I obviously modeled it, but if I select it, notice how it's selecting every individual line, all right? And if I extend it, it's making changes to every single one. Now, for materials, I can come into here and I can go, let's go timber. So come down in here in our drop down to wood, all right? And select a wood that we like, all right? And we can color that up, all right? And notice it's not working on all of it, but if we back out, now it will, okay? All right, and then we've got our kitchen down in here as well, which we're not going to be too concerned about. All right, let's put in a couple brick textures as well. So if we come down into here, you'll notice that there's also a pattern. All right, let that load up, and we should be able to find um, a different pattern here as well. So let's find our brick. The other thing I can do is grab my sample paint. I can sample that texture there and apply it over there as well. All right, and it makes life very, very easy. So I'm actually gonna make this back here a stone texture as well. I know I just removed it, but I think for the cases of this, I can do it, which will be all right, okay? And then over on our kitchen bench, uh, you guys get the idea, I'm not gonna keep going, all right? So we've got different patterns and we've got different um, colors as well. Now, if we wanna kind of rotate, so notice that these timbers are not kind of focused as nicely as we want. So we can kind of come in here, let's sample that paint, right? And we can go into edit and we should be able to kind of make the a few changes here, all right? So we can kind of change our opacity, all right? And notice how it's changing the opacity of the material. We can also change our kind of dimensions for the, um, for the actual texture. All right, and a few other things. Now, if we go back into this select, we can actually go into a different dropdown, right? And say we want a new wood texture, we can right click on this. Oh, no, right click must be for Mac. 
over here we've got create new material and if we click on this we can actually create a new timber material all right again we got color wheel here we don't want that we can change it to rgb or something if we want to and then we can use a texture and we can actually navigate to where a texture might exist all right so if you want to create your own custom textures or patterns feel free to yeah right that's how you're going to go about it